Hello everybody, it's Eric, your science teacher. I'm coming to you today from Guadalupe Mountains National Park. This park is in western Texas on the border of New Mexico. Behind me is a big peak called Guadalupe Peak. And as I look at it, as I look at it, I see a great big mountain with steep cliffs and very little plants. I wonder if this area can provide us with some evidence that the continents have moved or evidence that the continents have always been the same. One of the pieces of evidence that scientists look for is animals. What animals would you expect to find living in this mountain area or in this desert area 200 million years ago. What animals would be here? Maybe a snake, maybe some lizards, maybe some insects, maybe some birds. Those are some of the animals that I think of live in the desert. I'm sure you could think of some more. So if we looked around and we were searching for fossils in this land, what type of fossils would we expect to find? Probably we'd expect to find the fossils of the desert animals. Now, what do we find here? As I'm looking around, I just picked up this rock and I see these little indentations in here. Um, I looked around some more and I saw some indentations in some of the other rocks around here. And these indentations look to me like fossils. They're not fossils of birds. They're not fossils of snakes. They're not fossils of lizards. In fact, they're fossils of things completely different and they're fossils of things that really shouldn't be. So let's take a look at some of the fossils that I found. So what does it look like I found? There's fossils of sea worms. There's fossils of coral reefs. There's fossils of sponges. There's fossils of snails and nautiloids. All animals that are very similar to the animals that live in the ocean today. So, we're in the desert. There are fossils here, but the fossils are ocean animals. How could that be? And does that support the hypothesis that the continents have moved? Or does that refute or disagree with the hypothesis that the continents have moved? How do sea fossils in the desert support or refute the hypothesis that our continents have moved over 200 million years?